Hi everyone, welcome to Quality Food Safety 101. We are back with another HACCP video. Today's video is about product and process description, which is the second step in the Codex logic sequence. Uh, if you have not seen the Codex logic sequence video, I will link it uh, in the description and also a card up here. Have a look at it. Uh, let's continue with our HACCP series. Let's start. <music> So the product and process description is all about describing and understanding your own product and process so that you can understand the risks and the hazards associated with that industry, the process and the product itself. In the product and process description, we describe our finished goods, our ingredients, our packaging material, the process methods and all these details related to the overall manufacturing of the product. It can include information about food safety, food quality, packaging, shelf life, physical hazards, microbiological hazards, uh, storage conditions, transportation condition, and any other critical information required to make people understand about the nature of the product and the process and things related to the food safety and HACCP. The key bit to understand is that product and process description give us an understanding about the uh, the product and process as it says and it gives us an indication about the hazards and the risk factor it's very important because HACCP is all about managing the risk to the product and to the final consumer uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it i will show you a, a, a format now how to make a product and process description and it should be on your screen now in this format you can see that you need to describe the product uh, you need to give basic information about the product with regards to product shelf life, product storage conditions, distribution conditions, key ingredients, allergens, all these information should be here. If you are working in a manufacturing company and it has limited amount of product uh, being manufactured in the unit, you can make a single product description for each of them. That's not a big issue. But if you are working in a uh, production facility which has a multiple amount of products, or maybe think about uh, a catering company or a hotel which has a lot of products being manufactured at the same time uh, the whole thing becomes very very complicated so as a result of that WHO and Codex came up with a process description for catering units there are three types of processes which cover the whole you know industry of catering process number one is no cook step which means all the products which are not being cooked in the premises like salads like uh, uh, even uh, you know sauces which we purchase from outside like ketchup and all all these come under uh, this is step of no cook step then the uh, second one is immediate serve or uh, a la carte so like burgers like uh, fresh uh, freshly cooked rice all these things are immediate service and it includes uh, the this process number two includes cooking as well then the third one is complex food preparation, which means that after cooking, you will be doing any one of the four steps like cooling, reheating, hot holding or cold holding. If you do any of these steps, then the product becomes complex food preparation. It includes soups, gravies, anything uh, pretty much uh, in a hotel buffet is part of this complex food pre preparation. So in a hotel, we need to describe or divide our product based on these three uh, descriptions. You can use the same description in manufacturing sector as well. Uh, it's perfectly valid, uh, but it was initially designed for catering in our hotel industries because this description is based on processes, not on product itself. When you divide uh, the whole range of products or the processes based on these three guidelines, then you need to make only three product flow diagrams. You don't need to make uh, individual product flow diagrams for each of the uh, products. We will discuss about a product flow diagram in the upcoming videos. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the process and product description. Before I forget, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, spread the knowledge to everybody. And yeah, we need your support. Thank you.